Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be doing this basic Christmas card here with an outline around an image. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I do several videos every single week, about half of those on Photoshop Elements and other graphics programs. And if you want to learn a lot more about using Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. All right, this Christmas card image here that we're working with, with the outline around the image, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. A couple of little tricks in here though that you may not know about or you may not have used that often. Now, you can use any picture you want for the background and of course, use your own pictures in here, but it's really pretty straightforward and you can use any typeface you want up there as well. I'm just using a standard typeface. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Let's just get this out of the way. I'll just save this. There we go and close that down. And we'll start off with a brand new file. File new, blank file. I have mine set for the default Photoshop Elements size, six by four at 300 pixels per inch because I plan on printing that. Choose OK and I'll just dock that into place. There we are. And let's get that to fit screen. Perfect. Okay, now let's bring in our background image. And I have those down here in my photo bin. Now, if you have a photo bin like this, you actually can bring your images in right here from the photo bin right into your working file. Just grab your image and you can just drag it straight up like that. There it is. Let's just close that down. So you can drag straight from the photo bin right up into your working image. Now, this came in at the exact same size because I already had this one pre-sized, so perfect fit. Let's now put in a basic circle in here. And for that, let's set our colors on here to the defaults, black and white. That's a little button right down there. Go to the shape tool. You want to have the ellipse tool, and that's this one down here. I have my set for black. Color doesn't matter on this, but black is pretty easy. I have this set for circle and also drawn from center. And then it's coming here someplace, click and drag until you get a nice sized circle. Oh, about that big. That's about 1.75, 1 and 3 quarter inches. About that big is pretty good. So there's our first circle. We'll be duplicating this as we go. So let's go over here to the right hand side. Right click where it says shape one and choose duplicate layer and OK. That gives us a second circle and we'll use this one to make our border shape. So let's go up here to layer, come down to layer style and style settings. Come down where it says stroke right here. Want the position at the outside. If it's something else, just go to outside like that. Where it says PX over here with that black square, click on that. That brings up the color picker and just click in here someplace and pull it just to the upper right hand corner. That will be your basic red color right there. Okay, now let's change our size for this. Bring that up. You can see there's the size. You can use any size you want. Whatever you think is good for your project. I have mine set at 20 and choose OK. Now this gives me a circle on that black shape, on that black circle right here. Now we need to separate these two pieces out and delete that middle part. So I'll go up here to that layer. It's the one that says FX. That's the effect that we applied on there. Right click on the name of that layer and choose Simplify Layer. That collapses that effect down to just the graphics. Now it's just a solid graphic red line outside and then black inside. That will let us go up here to the magic wand tool, click inside and hit delete and just cut that middle out. Okay, deselect. There we go. Let's go back to our move tool and there's your line. Now I want to put kind of an edge on this, give it kind of a three-dimensional shape. So let's go back up to layer, back down to layer style, style settings and this time go to bevel right here, have it say up and change the pixel to one pixel, just one pixel in there, and then change the lighting angle here to 135, which is kind of upper left hand corner, and choose OK. Now hold the Alt key down and tap the up arrow once, like that. Let go of the Alt key and tap the left arrow once. That makes a copy and moves it up and over one. Do the exact same thing again, 
Alt, tap up, let go of Alt, tap left. That's two of those. Just two more times, Alt and up, let go and left. Alt and up, let go and left. We now have this kind of a three-dimensional look to that bevel shape. Let's now merge all of these layers together. It's just those circle layers. Hold the Shift key down. Your top layer was already selected, so that selects all of those layers. Now right-click on any of these where the name is and come down and choose Merge Layers. That just merges those down into one layer. So there we go, there's our layer. We can now take this and pull it on top of that circle. It should snap right to the circle right there. Now if it doesn't, go up here to View, come down to Snap To, and make sure that these are selected, Layers and Document Bounds. The important one is Layers. That means that this will snap to whatever's on that layer, and that's what we just saw there. Okay, so there's our first circle. We now need to make a duplicate of this set. Click on the bottom, hold the Shift key, click on the top one, right click and duplicate layers, and there's a copy right there. Leave those selected and then pull that set down to someplace else, maybe down around here somewhere. Same thing again, right click, come down to duplicate layers, choose OK, leave those selected, grab this and let's put it up over here leaving a little bit of space up here for our Merry Christmas text right there, but something kind of like that. You can move these around later on if you want to. Whenever you move these, make sure that you select both of those layers in the set if you want to move them around. Once our pictures are in here, you want to select all three parts. Okay, now let's go over here to our first one. That's our left-hand side. Click on the shape in behind. So you have your circle above. You're on the shape layer in behind the circle layer, the, you know, the big black dot layer. Let's now bring up our next image. Here's our photo bin. And I'll just take the squirrel picture right here. And you can just drag over like that and drop around to that picture. There it is. And then we can close that one down. Now on this layer, she'll come in wherever she wants to, but just bring it and pull it straight down so that she's in front of or on top of the bottom circle and underneath that circle. So she's in behind the circle like that. Now grab a corner and just pull down and that resizes her picture, and then just resize it until it fits. Now pay attention to where the borders are. You don't want to have a border cut off like that right there. So make sure that your borders are outside of that red area, and then just fit it so it looks good inside there. You know, kind of like that, move it around. You can use your arrow keys if you want to. I'll just go up a little bit with my arrow key. Just like that. Click on the green check mark for OK. Now we need to get her placed inside of that circle, and that's real easy. Just right-click on the name and come down to Create Clipping Mask, and that puts her inside of that circle underneath. So there's our first one. Okay, let's do the exact same thing up here. Go to our next picture, back to our photo bin. I'll just grab this and just drag it up like that. There she is. Again, let's put her in the right spot. We want her up here. So I'll just drag this layer up right there. So I want her in front of the second circle here and in behind that red circle right in there. Same thing, grab the corner and let's resize until she fits inside of her frame nicely. Just kind of pull that around. Now she's right by the top up here, so just be careful with that. And that looks pretty good. Just up a little bit with my arrow key right there. Green check mark, that's okay. And once again, right on the name of that layer, right click, create clipping mask, and that puts her inside of that circle. Okay, same thing once again, but putting it up here this time. Go back to our photo bin, let's grab that cat, just drag the cat over. There it is. Take that picture, it comes in wherever it comes in, but take the picture, move it up into position, and that's in front of that top black dot and behind the top circle. And once again, grab those corners and just pull the image down until you get the size that you want. And we can get almost the whole picture here for the cat. I want to get the ears in there. There we go. Green check mark. And right click again on the name of that layer and come down to create clipping mask. And there we go. All of our people are inside of their pictures. And we have those images surrounded or outlined by those red shapes. Now come down to the bottom layer here, our Christmas tree layer. We'll put our text right above that layer. I'll be changing my colors here. I want the white in front, so click on that little double arrow. Puts the white in front. Grab our text tool. 
And when you do this, your foreground color should come out as your color right down here. If it doesn't, just click on that and then choose your color right there. Now I'm using Adobe Caslon Pro Bold Italic, which I believe does come with Photoshop Elements. But you can use any typeface you want. This is just a bold and italic, just kind of a nice simple typeface. The size I'm working with here is 50 points and the leading is 42 points. And click up here someplace. Doesn't matter where we'll adjust after the type is in here. Just type in Mary and then Christmas right there we go. And simply grab that and position it where you want it. I'm gonna put it right about here. I'll need to move that cat down just a little bit, but that's a good spot for the Merry Christmas. Now, when you want to move one of these shapes in here, you need to move all three parts. There is the red circle. Hold the shift key down or control key down, click on the image and click on the black dot in behind. They're now all selected and I can then move the whole thing as I said. I'll just put it right there, just down below. Okay, back to our text. And I want to put a drop shadow on this just to help separate out the text from the background. So go back up to layer, come down to layer style and style settings, drop shadow right there. And in here, set the opacity all the way to the top. So it's at 100%. And then let's bring the distance out just a little bit. Looks pretty good right in here, about 15. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit of a drop shadow showing in there. That helps to again to just separate out that typeface from the background image and choose OK. And there we go. There's our quick and easy Christmas card using your own pictures and pretty easy just putting your pictures inside of these shapes and then putting an outline around those shapes. All right, if you had fun with this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and share with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I do several videos every single week. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Link for that right down there in the description, including my brand new training for Photoshop Elements 2020. Okay, and I'll see you next time.